now coming to the second discussion on dictionary compression or the inverted index compression so the first part of dictionary is uh, uh, inverted index is the dictionary so which contains all the terms in the collection which is small compared to the posting lists or the posting files right but the thing is it it is needed to be kept in the memory during the retrieval during the search time right because during the search time this uh, dictionary from this dictionary we will be getting the corresponding posting list to make the to uh, actually uh, take a set of documents as the uh, to provide a set of documents as the output to a given query to the user so it needs to be kept in the memory during the entire retrieval or search process so the challenge is the random access memory or the in general the memory is always uh, is already been taken up by the other applications and there can be limited memory in your device as well such as if you are using a smartphone so considering that keeping a dictionary in the uh, primary memory is a challenging uh, thing to do so we need to actually compress try to compress the dictionary as much as possible now if we consider a simple dictionary such as this where we are storing the term we are storing the document frequency and we are storing the pointer to the posting list essentially it will be taking a memory such as this so for each uh, term so if, if we consider ascii character so each character will be taking one byte if we consider the maximum length of the word term to be 20 character then it will be taking 20 bytes frequency integer 4 bytes and pointer 4 bytes so per term it will be considered considering 28 bytes right now for rcv1 collection there were actually 400000 unique terms so the total memory consumption will be 400000 into uh, 28 which will be near about around uh, 11.2 mb megabyte seems pretty less right but note that this collection is having a very small size 1 gb i have talked about data set which is having a size of 5 tb which is clueweb all right so the problem is to keep the to keep uh, an array of fixed width is most of the bytes in the term column will be wasted because there will be so many terms which are much much less than in size of byte length 20 a and the institute indian there are so many terms having which will which uh, have the uh, length less than 20 also this kind of a fixed width entries cannot actually handle character uh, terms having uh, character having number of having length more than 20 such as this toxinous nihilification or hydrochlorofluorocarbons etc so in average the length of an english term is more or less eight characters so can we use this information to compress the dictionary size let's try to do that here this is a solution where instead of keeping the individual term in the dictionary what we will be doing is we will be storing a very large string in the memory very large string containing all the terms in the vocabulary so here instead of strumming in the dictionary together with this uh, what we will be storing is we will be storing the term pointer to that term here there are terms like the first term that it is storing is this sistyle s y s t i l e this is the first term that 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 is being stored then the second term is s y z y uh, g e t i c z uh, c cis 
then next arm is this and so on now how we are actually saving time uh, having having a uh, saving space here basically instead of so if we are following that 20 byte character for all the fixed fixed length size then we will be actually wasting 13 bytes or 12 bytes for this uh, word to store this word here we are only storing the the actual characters nothing more than that but note that it is a huge character huge string it is containing all the words concatenated together and in the dictionary this is a dictionary now instead of storing the dictionary uh, the word itself which were earlier taking 20 bytes uh, what we are storing is basically a pointer to this list so basically not this list but this string so this is basically a string now earlier it was four byte for this four byte for this the actual pointer to the external hard disk uh, ex external that is uh, secondary memory uh, and eight bytes now in this case uh, what we are doing is eight bytes on average for term in the string will be storing and three bytes per pointer into the string itself so this this eight bytes on average is being stored so earlier it was 20 bytes here now what we have done is we have removed this 20 bytes we have stored the actual term here which can take actually on an average uh, on an average it can take uh, 8 bytes and we are storing one pointer to that starting of that character or starting of, of that word if we do the maths it will be taking around 3 bytes so roughly the math would look like this so if in case we are storing again the rcv1 collection there will be 400000 different unique terms so basically in this string there will be 400000 unique terms but they are actually being stored concatenated to each other and they are actually sorted like this like earlier the terms were also being uh, was uh, stored sorted it was also sorted here but they were just concatenated and uh, following the math it's very simple at most we will be needing to store a pointer which will be taking a space of three bytes so the total amount of data that we'll be needing that we will be needing to store the information here would be 400,000 into 4 for frequency 4 for uh, posting uh, posting list pointer 3 for the term pointer and on an average 8 this is average this will be floating i mean this will be not constant for some term so for example for this sysstill it will be 7 not considering the slash n for another term such as this it will be 6 another term such as this it will be for 11 uh, i think 11 and so on so this is this will be varying on an average it will be 8 as i have said english on an average the word length uh, is 8 character so all together if we do the maths it will be around taking around 7.6 mb of space so from earlier it was from 11.2 earlier while using uh, a fixed width uh, uh, window fixed width uh, mechanism we were storing in 11.2 mb space now it is taking 7.6 mb space now while performing the search what we'll be doing is we'll be performing a binary search here because here i mean this is a dictionary right there are m number of basically there are 400000 uh, columns uh, rows here 
for each of the terms in the RCP1 collection and they are sorted. So we can actually perform a binary search here as well. Okay. Again, seven point, I mean, from 11.2 to 7.6, it does not seem very much, uh, I mean, attractive to us because this is, I mean, less than, uh, less than the uh, space consumed uh, by a simple song that we used to store in our, uh, in, in, our, in our phone, maybe a simple MP3 file. But note that the MP3 file is being stored in our secondary memory, not in the primary memory. Now, considering a large collection, this can actually go wrong because this, I mean, for a large collection, it would have been taking a longer space, right? So let's, uh, now, okay, so this dictionary can also be further reduced to, this, this space consumption can be further reduced to uh, lower space consumption using blocking and front coding. I'm not discussing these in today's class. Uh, let's conclude the discussion here from the next class. We will be starting with hosting compression, the second part of an inverted index. So basically, the today's discussion, I have followed the chapter five of the book by Manning, Rahavan, and um, uh, should say, and the chapter six from the Butcher, Clark, and uh, Cormac's book. So I, I will be requesting you to have a read on these two chapters. It will be easier for you to understand the concepts.